And welcome to another episode of People and Events. I'm your host, Gufan Shaji Ogwanyi. Before we delve into the events lined up for your viewing pleasure, I would like to urge you to keep hope alive and stay positive. On the show today, we bring you legacies of the woman who bore the president of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. We also see how Jai's Bank honored its chairman. Plus, the culture of the Ikiria Day Kingdom. These and more on the program. You've apparently heard about the saying that the rich also cry. But this time, no one cries but the number one citizen of Nigeria who went emotional as a stage play held to honor the late mother of the president, Abiba Tumogaji. The play to celebrate her life played up the motherhood, legacy and resilience of the late Iyaloja general. Let's see this. Abiba Tumogaji a name that resonates amongst many in old and new Echo, Echo being the popular Yoruba name for Lagos. Held in admiration by many who knew her and known for her resilience, strength, unity, love and motherly traits, the former Ialoja General of Lagos State is the late mother of Nigeria's current president, Bola Ahmed Tinebo. <laughs> arts, and indeed theatre, a way to build the capacity of human consciousness to endure beyond death. Ah, mommy, I'm very happy. And I know one day, inshallah, I will become the leader of market women, just like you, mommy. This stage play, written and directed by Professor Ahmed Yerima, and produced by Ola Awakon, chronicles the life of Abibatu Abishola Mogaji. It tells the joyous story of her birth, her life as a growing young woman, and her journey through time in the market before attaining the position of Yaloja General. The way you all came together to give me this honorable appointment, that is the same way I want each and every one of you to come together to work towards the progress of this market, whether you are Amsa, Ibo, or Yoruba. Even your religion does not matter. This dance drama with a glorious display of Southwestern culture successfully communicates some of the depicted characters' life lessons, showcasing major challenges and the victories that were the dividends of our tenacity. And I want my family to make stronger. I will never bear anything. Amen. 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 The excited audience watched in rapt attention the entire time the play lasted. 
clearly seeming to have had a good conversation with history. Yes, one of the greatest things that resonated so well with me was her willpower and the strength to fight and believe in her cause. W women are weaker sex and not from the book of Elijah, Abiyat Mogasi. She always believed that women are custodian of purity. She believes so much that if you are a woman, you can do better in life. Very well scripted and the performance was ecstatic. I enjoyed myself watching the uh, story and the stage performance. I want uh, our ladies to emulate Alhaji Abibatu Mogaji in all her affairs and endeavors. The producers of this theater could not have picked a better time to tell the story of legacy and they are extremely proud of the outcome. The thematic preoccupation of this play is gradually resonating with the people. It's something that I am happy about because I believe so much in cultural reawakening. I believe so much in um, us, you know, going back to the drawing board to create the communal love, the communal society that used to exist in Nigeria. I can say that there were three things that actually resonated with me. A determination, a resilience, and a belief in God. You know, and I believe that whatever she set her heart to will be achieved. Resilience of Yaloja for, uh, to becoming the real, to becoming a great person in life, right from her childhood. And you know, that's how she moved through the tutelage of those before her and then attaining that. Besides the visible unity amongst the cast and crew members reflected in their electrifying performance on stage, it also portrays Ia Loja as a promoter of unity across cultures, a great mentor and a true mother to all. As her legacy is immortalized through this theatrical piece, we are again reminded of the words of world-renowned martial artist and philosopher Bruce Lee. The key to immortality is first living a life worth remembering. There is internal influence and power in motherhood, and the influence of a mother in the lives of her children is beyond calculation. Moving on, Jai's Bank has reiterated its commitment to growing its balance sheet size from 12 billion to more than 700 billion naira and still counting. The story of the institution started 12 years ago after receiving a license from the Central Bank of Nigeria to operate as a regional bank. Since then, the Pioneer members have worked tirelessly to set the bar and have now passed on the button of a flourishing institution. The reason of this gathering is to honor the former chairman and board of directors in Abuja. Bosede Ebo Amosu was there for people and events. Tired board members said the bank's financial performance of 11 billion naira profits in 2023 had increased as of June 30, 2024, and had already surpassed this profit figure, indicating robust growth and operational success. He attributed the landmark achievement to the sacrifices and contributions of the forerunners who created the future pathway. The success and landmarks achieved cannot be possible without the sacrifice, patience, and perseverance of our founding fathers, shareholders, the staff, management, and the board of directors over the years. The dedication of our founding fathers, their hard work, and their commitment, I will not only serve the issue of life plan, you know, to prove the elements over the years, we have also laid down a very solid foundation for the plan. I, I believe you mean, if today there is no giant bar, but there is a failure of giant bar, the Islamic finance in Nigeria will not have the way it is today, where we have so many bars that are coming up. With confirmation for a job well done, one after the other, each of the retired board members were recognized with prestigious award on the hallmark of fame of the institution. Our 
system that people have alternative. Before it was the con con conventional banking system, but now people can have an alternative. They can go to conventional. They can go also to the non-interest banking. So that is the achievement which we are very proud of, and we are very very grateful. And we thank God that He has given us this opportunity to see this take off. More importantly, we need the capital to increase our digital footprint because banking is now about technology, digitalization. And more importantly, we also like to invest a lot of uh, money in the agri sector because of food security. For any institution to become successful, you need to attract the right kind of clients. The commitment we are giving in Jais Bank is on an annual basis, we'll be attracting minimum of one million customers year in, year out. And I believe Jais Bank is not only a pest setter, but when you look at profitability, in terms of the balance sheet, in terms of the number of customers, and it's one of the only quoted company, a quoted bank on the NGS. So it's a success story. My only advice that they should go further than that and set up a holding company. Meeting the Central Bank of Nigeria's recapitalization policy target, Jais says customers' interest will continue to be priority. And with the innovation of fintech, it is committed to expand its presence globally as the bank looks forward to more improvements. We pause now for a break. When we come back, we talk culture. Thank you for staying with me. Moving on, Nigeria is a country rich in diverse and unique cultures. Festivals provide an opportunity to exhibit and share these cultures with the world. Let's journey to a Kenya Day Kingdom in Ujumu local government area of Kogi West and explore the vibrant culture, history and splendor of its people during the annual Ikiria Day celebration. In many African societies, queens are held in high regard not only for supporting the king but also for their invaluable contributions to sustaining their kingdoms. One of such communities is the Kiriade community in Ijumu local government area, where queens are held in high esteem. The annual Ikiriade Day celebration showcases the splendor and dignity of the queens of Ikiriade with a special procession dedicated to them. It's ongoing. While they are doing this, nobody crosses them. Yes. Situated in Nigeria's western senatorial district, these people proudly trace their roots to Ilefe, the cradle of Yoruba civilization. The annual Ikiria Day celebration plays a vital role in preserving Ikiria Day's cultural heritage. It serves as a cherished tradition where town natives return home for reunions, familial gatherings, and to partake in cultural festivities. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
The paramount ruler of the land also holds a special place in the hearts of the people. The Kiriadi celebration provides a platform for the people to express their love and loyalty during the procession. Since his ascension to the throne, the present Uluade of Ikiriade, His Royal Majesty, Oba Anthony Bamibaye Dowu, has endeared himself to the people with his loving and wise disposition. This was evident during the celebration. <laughs> Having been heard for over three decades, the celebration continues to attract sons and daughters of the community from far and near. Among the esteemed guests was the deputy governor, Joe Oibu Salifu, who represented the governor of Kugi State. It's not just to showcase your cultural heritage and values, but use it as a way to unite all sons and daughters of Itumu land, both at home and in diaspora. For lovers of cultural attire, the vibrant clothing on display is always a visual feast. Many believe that Ikiradi is crucial to preserving the culture of the people while also fostering progress in the community. Very significant. Uh, as you can see in the activities of today, uh, this is uh, where the Lord helps us to at least uh, do some things, self-help to the community. You can see our FM radio there. It's one of the projects. Celebrations like Ikiria did deepen mutual understanding among people. Ulu Anthony Bambi Bayedu, the paramount ruler of Ikiria Day, emphasized the celebration's role in fostering unity and progress. Let unity be in us. Let's love each other and be united. We can move mountains. If you've seen the development that is, you know, bleeding off in the Jumo, it is because of our unity. It is because of our culture. Uh, we are using culture now, or tourism, if you like, to attract people. It was just a moment of me to come and say thank you to them. And that's exactly what I've come to do. That people have not allowed our culture and heritage to die down. And you can see a lot of promotion of economic value that is taking place here today. <laughs> Our culture, our heritage. And before we go, let's see these paintings. In the past, artists were usually considered as solitary figures, but contemporary art has brought about changes. Artists are now experimenting with curating group exhibitions. Sosen and Amarachi Odimba put together an exhibition of paintings themed shared encounters, highlighting their works, design elements like lines, colors, and texture. So the, the figures have been represented with um, plant leaves that is reminiscent of the banana plants and what that entails or what that, um, what that reflects is um, more of that phrase of a banana republic. And when you talk about a banana republic, what does it mean? It's um, a place where things just, just, just happen, right? There's no sense of coordination. There's no sense of strategy that, yes, that's thing, that thing of uh, intentionality of people waking up and saying, yes, this is how we plan our lives, or this is how we plan our structure. And um, people who live in such systems, most times they are fine. They move like they're in their own habitat. That's why you have like fishes here. They're in water, they're moving in their own habitat. And there's a snail here too. And this snail sort of portrays that slow pace of things. That piece is uh, titled Ally. Ally, friends, um, partners, and the rest. We always need that person who was standing for us, who uh, always got our back. Like as the painting portrays, this is like the single man in there with people around him. 
So it's actually talking about trust. You know, the, the essence of having trust in someone, like we can't do it alone. No, you can't, there's nothing like a self-made person, that's my perspective, so I feel that you always need a kind of collaboration, like what this exhibition is all, of, all about, it is a joint exhibition, so we kind of uh, shared experience. Just totally blown away by the quality of the artwork, and I mean, it's just you know, sort of firing on all synapses, and you know, just and talking to the artist himself, you know, it's just absolutely amazing. I love art. This is metaphorical. I'm actually trying to talk about like the present times, the electoral period, election period, when um, the politicians try to woo the people in, with endless promises of you know, better things to come and the rest. So this is what this painting portrays. Woo. Wow, it's, it's such a great one in the sense that it's my first time in this kind of environment and you can see a lot of depth and a lot of thoughts that has gone into the paintings. It's really a beautiful one. To the artist, they have described shared encounters as an aesthetic engagement of a sense of mutuality, lived experiences from uncertain times, reflecting on our social structures and the similarities in their responses. Art, like we always say here on People and Events, is life. And I hope these artworks inspire you as you win through life. I'm your host, Kufan Shaji Ugwanyi, and I'll see you again.